Hello, my name is Dominic and today I am going to tell a true story that happened back in 1992 about an athlete. In 1992 Summer Olympics Barcelona was expected and favored that Mr. Derek Redman was the best candidate to win gold for the 400 meter relay. In the world of good, he really expected to win the gold medal. There is God waiting in heaven to give us the crown of life. It says it here in James chapter 1 verses 12. Blessed is anyone who endures temptation. Such a one has stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. After crossing 150 meters in the race, disappointment came. Derek started to feel pain on his muscles. He ruptured his hamstring. When we start to move forward in life, we have all experienced the worst situations to move forward in life. He says it here in Matthew 7, 14. For the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life and there are few who find it. Derek fell on the track due to unbearable pain. The same things happens to all of us as well as when someone hurts us. When others move a long way forward leaving us behind, we also tend to cry. Romans chapter 8 verses 18 I consider that the suffering of this present time is not worth comparing to the glory about to be revealed to us. As the stretcher made their way to the track, Derek was not willing to give up. He was determined to run and complete the race despite his pain. When we lose our hope in life, we shouldn't give up. We just have to submit our will to God and finish our race. He says it here in Philippines 4.13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. One man came running through the crowds to Derek on, to, to Derek on the track who was his father. You don't have to do this son. Yes I do, Derek replied. The moment when you think that everything is finished, he will come breaking all the walls. He says it here in Isaiah uh, chapter 45 verses 2 to 3. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will cut in, break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and treasures and riches hidden in secret places so that I may so that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who call you by your name. Okay, son, replied his father, told him that we will finish the race together. His father wrapped his arms around him and helped him move across the track. Jesus tells, God tells us not to be afraid that, and that I am your God and I will be with you. Okay, Joshua 1 chapter 1 verses 9 tells us that I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Derek and his father started to move across the track. When you are in pain, Jesus will be with you. Sam, it says it here in Psalms chapter 34 verses 18. The Lord is near to the broken hearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Before the finish, Derek's father let Derek complete the race by himself. Standing ovation from 65,000 people from the gallery. Derek may not have finished the race in first place, but he managed to complete the race. Despite the pain and tears, he was determined motivation of love and strength from a father who picks his son when he falls. His father could not sit there and see his son's tears, hence came to help him finish the race. God is like this. When we are hurt, he comes to help us. In your journey to uh, in your journey of life, Finally, heaven will await you to welcome you. Jesus Christ will be there at the right hand of God the Father. 
and with between the and in between the angels he also says it here in 1 peter chapter 5 verses 10 after you have suffered for a little while the god of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in christ will himself restore support and strengthen and establish you when you fall in life never falter stand up jesus is with you to love to protect to hug please never ever forget that thank you